you're new here, welcome. Uh, my name is Jill. I am a clothing reseller on the Poshmark and Mercari app at Shared Threads. And today I am gonna show you a crazy huge haul. I got a ton of stuff. I've been very busy this week sourcing and not listing like I should. Um, I have gone to all kinds of goodwills in my location, new ones even. I've been to Plato's Closet. I've been to Crossroads Trading, uh, Buffalo Exchange. I've been all over town. I've been all over town being the golem that I am, just grabbing all of the designer pieces for reasonable prices. And included in one of those hauls, I found, for the first time, Fendi. But that will be shown later. Let's get into the whole haul. Something I wanna talk about today is a lot of resellers have been talking about walking into a thrift store, thinking really long and hard about what they wanna find, and then somehow finding that item. This is the phenomenon known as manifestation. And it happened to me. I have had Doc Martens on the mind for weeks and weeks and weeks, months, years. Um, so I had just gotten off of work and I decided to go to Goodwill before they were closing. And I got my cart, I closed my eyes, and I envisioned a pair of brand new Docs just waiting for me. And I shopped around, I wasn't really finding anything, everything had kind of been picked over. And I went to one of the sections that I never go to. Party! Get me, oh birdie, cause you'll always be my baby. So I'm shopping around, I go to a section that I very rarely go to, and something in the shoe section of the fashion focus section caught my eye. Can you guess? Brand new and reasonably priced. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 14 I lace up docks in perfect condition. Brand new, excellent condition. I was beside myself. Yeah, so that was cool. That was a little bit freaky, but uh, it happened. Um, I've listed one pair of docs before. I found the pair that uh, Tyler, the creator, wore to the Grammys. It's the, the patent white 3 i Oxford loafers, and those sold like within a week. And then you'll never believe what happened because during yesterday's haul, another appeared in the wild. They're size six and they are the shore ditch style. So they're just these easy lace-up booties that are super lightweight. They should be a pretty easy sale. If you find docs, you know what to do. So I've recently been going to Plato's Closet, not to sell because they don't give you very much money to be honest, but as a new place to source because the prices are pretty reasonable. You can find a lot of items under $20. And I got lucky again. These are the Caitlin. They're these platform wedges with two buckles and uh, they're a size nine. And the comps look great on these. So when I saw these for under $30, I picked them up and I cashed out. Also at Play-Dohs, I found these Zara snakeskin loafers. Snakeskin is a bestseller right now. Any kind of reptile, any kind of animal print, uh, especially in shoes, is gonna fly off of your uh, Poshmark shelves. There's Zara Trophilock, so they're kind of like the lower end of Zara, but so they're probably not. So they are faux, faux snakeskin, but they're very cute. I expect them to do well. Not sure what to price them at, but probably like under $50 or so. Very cute find. Um, when I was at Goodwill, I also found these. It's the Halogen uh, collaboration with Atlantic Pacific. 
which is a really fun line. They made a lot of really, really cute pieces. But these are just platform sneakers on a rubber white sole with kind of, I think it's a croc, like a brown croc faux leather. But again, with the animal prints, very hot this season. Genuine leather, hey! Um, and they're a size nine. So just have to do a little bit of magic eraser cleanup on the soles, and these babies are gonna be ready to list. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you the pieces that I found at Play-Doh's. So starting off with this Tory Burch piece, it's this really lovely, I'm trying not to use the word beautiful because I use it way too much in my videos, so we're gonna try to use other uh, synonyms. But this is a gorgeous black silk and this great grid sheer fabric. Um, dress with a smocked waist, tie waist, and then a tiered skirt. One, two, three tiers. The skirt is lined, the top part is not. It's a size two. I haven't sold any Tory Burch clothing pieces before, but I have sold her shoes successfully. Um, it's good quality, it would be a good transitional piece, so I went ahead and picked it up. I found one comp, so I think this might be an older dress, I found one comp that was around like $60, $75, so that's great with me. Second piece from Play-Doh's is also Tory Burch. Just experimenting here, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, and it is this cream wool sweater with kind of these flare-out sleeves with that ruffle detail. So cute, it's a great transitional piece from winter to spring. Um, it's a size small, and comps online are looking to be about $100 or so, which is great, because I only paid 22 for it. But look at that ruffle detail, so cute. Last piece from Play-Doh's is this really cool, um, what, what color is this, taupe? This really cool tan taupe, um, Sherpa lined vegan leather moto jacket vest, moto vest jacket. It's new without tags, in excellent condition. It's a size 10. Uh, it's just a very cool piece. Very on trend, cool piece. Just with this, with like a black maxi dress, so cute. And this was only 18. Barney's Originals is not to be confused with Barney's New York, the department store. It's actually a UK based brand that specializes in like leather jackets. Um, I've had a few pieces by them that I've sold. I have one I have one men's jacket that I haven't listed yet. And then I had this really cool Sherpa long sleeve uh, zip up that I recently sold a couple weeks ago. See, so yeah, I'm excited to see how this goes. I'll probably start listing it at 100 and just see how it goes from there, yeah. So let's get into the Buffalo Exchange haul. Buffalo Exchange, I adore. I love buy, sell, trade stores, especially Buffalo Exchange and Crossroads. Um, I actually worked at Crossroads for two years as a buyer. Um, and so I am actually putting together a video for next week um, that's kind of like a tips and tricks of how to source as a reseller at Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange and the like. So stay tuned for that. And I also have a huge incredible Crossroads haul from sourcing yesterday that I'll be posting next week on that video. Lots, lots of incredible pieces at Crossroads. Ugh, I can't wait to put that up. So the first piece is this green polka dot jumpsuit, wide leg jumpsuit from Happy Nature. This is actually Kate Hudson's new line. It's very bohemian, lots of dresses, jumpsuits. Just a beautiful, beautiful line of clothes. And they're all like reasonably priced under like 200 or so. Um, this particular jumpsuit is, it's got a waistband, it's got open lapels, it's got kind of a puff sleeve, um, and then uh, a wide leg trouser, um, and then a side zip and pockets. It's $18, but I used store credit from my trade, the items that I brought into trade. Um, yeah, and the comps look pretty good. This retailed for about $200. The comps right now on it are probably like 75 to 100, which is great. It's such a fun piece. It's very 80s inspired, just without the shoulder pads. It's great. Very excited about this next piece. So this is actually a collaboration piece. 
that um, has two of my favorite designers. I don't know if I'm saying this right. It's for Darte <laughs> and Universal Standard. When I saw this, I thought of the salsa emoji. Um, it's so fun. It's so fun. It's got this gathered ruched bust, these long puff ruched sleeves with ties, and then a ruched side as well. And then it's got this asymmetrical, let's see. And then this asymmetrical flared hem. It's so beautiful. It's new with tags. Comps are looking to be about 150, 200 for it. Universal Standard is actually one of my new favorite brands just cause it's a, it's in body positive, all inclusive line. Their pieces are timeless, classic, well-constructed. So I actually found one piece from Crossroads that I'll be posting next week that I'm really excited about. It's so fun. So excited to get this listed. Next is this piece that I will probably be keeping for myself. It is Zara, it is new with tags, and it's this beautiful tool, polka dot tool, with these huge puff sleeves, and then kind of this skater ribbed skirt. This with like a cute bralette, with some tights and some chunky booties. Ugh, big gold hoops. <laughs> I'm probably gonna be keeping this. But this was a great deal. This was, it's new with tags and then they were selling it for like 18 or 20 at Buffalo Exchange, which is a great deal. So I snatched that up. If you don't know, Patagonia is the leader in sales for resellers in the outdoor market. I can sell Patagonia in a week once I list it. It goes so fast. It's such a great brand. They focus on sustainability. They offer free repairs for their items. Their items last forever. They do a lot of great things for the community. Patagonia is great. Um, so here is a Sherpa vest with uh, purple detailing. Great for the season that we're transitioning into. Spring and fall, kind of the end of winter is perfect for vests. Um, yeah, so this one, it was, I paid up for it, but uh, I used my trade and store credit, so that kind of lowered the price down quite a bit. Yeah, I'll probably list this at like 85 or 100. Sherpa and Sherling is the darling of this season. So at this particular Buffalo Exchange, they had quite a few designer pieces new with tags. So now when I'm sourcing, I'm not only looking for items for my Poshmark closet, but I'm also looking for designer pieces that are a good price and that I think will have a high resale value on ThreadUp. And this is one of those pieces. This is Ted Baker and it is new with tags and it's just this really pretty um, kind of floral embroidered cream and black dress with a full zip cute little bow detail right here. And then kind of a drop, um, a drop ruffle hem at the bottom. And it's so cute, it's a size four. It retailed for $400. It retailed for $400. And I just think it'll do really well on thread up. So I will be, I'm starting a box now. I'm gonna put the Barbara Bowie shoes in there, this guy, and that Fendi dress, which is coming up, hold on. Next up is a designer that I'm always happy to find. So this is Equipment Femme, and it's just this nice silk mosaic, kind of abstract printed uh, black and white uh, long sleeve blouse button up colored blouse. Retail value of these items is really high, like usually like two to $400. Um, resale isn't as super high, but I can probably list this one for like 50, 50 to 60 and see how it does. Oh no, it's got pit stains. Oh, it's got yellow pit stains. No! How did I miss that? How did I miss that? No! Perhaps we can turn it into
into a cute tank top. We'll try to do some OxyClean and stain treatment on this and see if we can get it out. What a bummer! Ah. Okay, here's my class on reselling. Rule number one, check your items before you buy them. Check your items before you buy them. It's easy as that. To be fair, these lights are very different from natural light. And so stains do appear quite vibrantly in front of these lights and not so much in the thrift store, but check the armpits before you buy something. Okay. Hmm. Not bad. And also, not Target. This is real Missoni. M by Missoni, which I think is the diffusion line. Um, let's see, it's a size 44. So it's a mohair and wool blend open cardigan. It's got that classic signature Missoni stripe pattern with kind of a shag sleeve detail and the same detail on the hem. This was $30 and uh, I used part of my trade and store credit to pay for it. This is also going to be going into the thread up designer box. It's too small, but I'm going to put it on anyways. Hi. It's so soft. Um, yeah, so we're gonna be sending this into thread up. Okay, it's time. It's the bell of the ball. There she is. The story behind this dress. I was just at Buffalo Exchange minding my own business when I saw the clearance half off rack. And I was just minding my business, just flipping through the clothes, when fate intervened, and I saw that tag. Holy sh! It was priced at $62, and there was that half-off stamp on there. I, that means that this piece sat in that store for one month, but to be fair, there is a reason why it sat there for that long, and I'm gonna show you. Unfortunately, there is a seam rip right here, but it's a seam rip, which is very, very easy to fix. I'm not gonna attempt to fix it myself. I'm going to take it into a seamstress or a tailor to get it fixed, but oh my gosh. And then I also need to get some dry cleaning. There's a little bit of makeup stain on there from trying it on. This retailed for $2,800, and I got it for $30 in store credit. It's got beautiful bell sleeves, V-neck cut, very deep V-neck right now because it's ripping. <laughs> um, and then a color blocked lace eyelet ladder uh, skirt and a full back zipper. I'm definitely gonna send this in to either the Real Real or Thread Up Lux. Um, but I checked it for authenticity and, well one, there's like stock photos for it and like I actually found the dress online. But two, I also, Thought it may have been fake at first, but then I checked the tags. There's that holographic authenticity stamp on there. That is real. So check your clearance sections because there is good stuff in there. I love buy sell trade stores. It's a great resource for resellers. Ugh. Next piece is this new with tags, free people, maxi dress with full mother of pearl buttons down to right here where it's, uh, it's open, open front slit and folds it back. New with tag size 10. Whoa! Yikes. It's fine. And it's called Vintage Coral and it's just this beautiful brocade fabric that's actually pretty lightweight. Um, with kind of a ruched bust right here. It looks like the original price was like 270, 300 for this. I paid up for it. It was listed as $50 at Buffalo Exchange, but I ended up using my store credit. The great size. It's 
It's a beautiful coral peach color that is just perfect for spring and summer. Like, this is a this is a dress you go to in a this is a dress you go to in a this is a this is a wedding dress. This is a wedding guest dress. A wedding guest. This is a dress that you go to. This is this is a dress that you wear to a wedding. Can't wait to list it. <laughs> I love this. This is a beautiful mod splatter print, 60s inspired silk dress by C by Chloe. Um, it's a shift sheath dress. I don't, is there a difference between the two? I don't know. Um, with kind of these um, puffed sleeves. In this little keyhole eyelet. That color palette is so fun. It is just straight out of the 60s. It is so pretty. This is my first time finding a Chloe piece and I am happy. I am happy. Yeah. So we'll probably get this listed in the next year or so based on the speed that I'm going at right now. This next piece is this very fun Lilac, lavender, purple, ruched uh, mini baby doll dress by Finders Keepers, which is primarily sold on like Urban Outfitters, Revolve, um, Anthropology, the like, ASOS. Uh, it's got this square neckline, and then it can be off the shoulder, and then it's got the puff sleeves with the ruching, and then the tie bust. And a ruched bust as well. It is so cute. It is perfect for the spring. I think I paid a little bit too much for it. Um, and I'm going to start listing it at uh, 65. But this is just so cute. Perfect for festival season. Perfect for Easter. Perfect for vacation. Lilac and lavender. It's the color of the season. It's the color of the year. So this is a brand I was really excited to pick up. It's Eloqui. Eloqui is a brand that focuses on plus size, trendy fashion. There haven't been great designs in the past for plus size clothing, which sucks. That sucks. And Eloqui has come out and has just totally taken over the market, putting out just beautiful pieces. This dress was actually worn by A.D. Bryant um, for the Shrill premiere. And this piece is new with tags. I think it's a, si it's a size 14. And it comes with this slip. It's sheer toll with sequin detailing and raw edge ruffle sleeves and a mock neck. Uh, it's fit and flare style. So cute, so pretty. Um, and it's got this embroidery as well. Eloqui doesn't um, retail for super high. I think like the highest prices are like 200, but it's typically like 50 to 150. But this piece was so, is so formal and so fancy. It retailed for about 200. So I'm gonna go ahead and start listing it at, a, at 95, because it is new with tags. And last but not least, we have the Goodwill haul of yesterday. So I talked a little bit in my previous story about Aritzia and the brands that aren't doing so well anymore and the pieces that aren't doing so well. This is a baseball bomber jacket that is just so cute. It's in this muted neutral gray. Um, it's got the cuffed jersey sleeves, buttons, pockets, uh, no hood. And this is just a really cute piece, athleisure streetwear piece that is a neutral tone. So cute, the price was right. It was only $13 at Goodwill, so I went ahead and snagged it up. I think I'll maybe start listing it at like 60, 55 or 60 and just see if it gets any bites, but this would be a really good spring transitional piece. Just a light jacket. Next, I tried to branch out of my comfort zone uh, my comfort zone is not jeans to wear or to resell, um, but these came out on the new rack. They were $12.99. They are the low rise Dre and the Amelia wash, and they're a size 28. 
It's a good size. It's a good cut. It's got the unraveled um, raw edge hem, released hem, I think that's what it's called. Um, and it's a great wash. These retailed for 250, but the resale average looked to be about 50 to 70, which is great. So I will probably start listing these at 60 and just see how they do. Ugh, I have so many jeans that I have to list. I just don't know how to photograph them. Like I don't like doing flat lays. And then when I do, when I do the pictures on the wall, it just doesn't look great. So I just, I always put it off. So I have this huge stack of like really nice denim that I just don't list. So if anybody has any suggestions, let a girl know. Next is this really sweet gingham blue and white checkered print jumpsuit. Um, it's got kind of the tight square bodice with uh, these straps in the back that are adjustable, so you can you can either have them go straight back or you can have them crisscross. And um, they've got pockets, front pleats, and then these uh, wide legs. And this is by Seen Worn Kept, which is an anthropology brand. Fun fact, I actually worked at anthropology for about three months, um, which was fun to work like in the inventory area, but not so fun to like pressure people to buy stuff for no commission and minimum wage, and also on call shifts. It was a very nice environment. Uh, they have great music playing, they have candles burning, everything smells good, everything is so cute. All the coworkers were really nice, but Nine dollars minimum wage and no commission and being pushed to sell stuff isn't great. And also on call shifts, should be illegal. But working there, I did gain brand recognition and also RN six six one seven zero is the tag code that will tell you whether or not it was for anthropology. But also six six one seven zero is also for free people and Urban Outfitters as well. But anyways. Miss that discount though, 40% off, can't beat that. So it was $1.79 tag day yesterday at Goodwill. And this maxi dress in this beautiful military green, it feels like Cupro, but it's not. Super soft fabric with roll up sleeves and these tortoise shell asymmetrical buttons that go all the way down and with a tie belt. It's new with tags. Um, I couldn't believe that it was there for a dollar, but then I realized how high Goodwill had originally priced it. So it probably just sat for a month because the price was too high. And then they have, at the end of the week, they have half off this color tag. So then it only brought it down to $10, which is what they probably should have started it at. I'd only had three days to find the right buyer. Nobody wanted to pay $10 for it, so I was able to score it for $1.79. Finally, this is a designer that I have been keeping my eye out for. It's Amanda Uprichard, and this is a 100% silk, uh, pink and red chevron stripe styled fit and flare dress. Not fit and flare, never mind. Um, but it's got uh, ruched shoulders, and yeah, it's just really cute. Red and pink is a great color combination. It was huge hit probably two, one to two years ago. I still remember watching the Oscars and everyone was wearing red and pink dresses. Um, but yeah, this is perfect for spring and for summer. I mean, it's really well made. It's 100% silk, you can't beat that. Um, I normally go for, again, like neutral muted tones, but um, yeah, I like adding a little bit of flair to my closet, so I thought this would be fun and it was only $6, so. I got it. Okay, that's it. We got through it. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. My name again is Jill at Shared Threads on Poshmark, Mercari, and Instagram. Next week, I am going to be showing the huge haul that I got from Crossroads Trading, and I'm also going to be making kind of a a video on how to source like a pro. Um, at these buy sell trade stores and how to make the most for your buck how to do the rubber band to a house trick method um, Yeah, there's just 
so many good pieces at these stores and they're just sitting and waiting to be bought. So tune in for that next week. That's all.